Hi, Misha here, and this is a very impromptu video with a kind of unique reason behind it. Got a box on the table. There's a 50-50 chance it's right side up or upside down. And as we've learned from me putting models on stands, that means there's about an 85% chance it's currently upside down. So, I don't know, rotate your iPhone. In this old school clamshell box, it's that old school kind of patented cardboard like the old Colt boxes. We have a good bit of paperwork. Hopefully, I'm getting on camera <clears throat> and you can pause. And now to the actual part that you should care about. The, oop, one more piece of paper. Good golly. The French sure like their certificates. There we go. This is a French Menurhin MR32 Match Revolver. And this is a part of the MR73 family, which was produced er, by the original Manier and Company in the 1970s and 1980s. And the reason I am doing this video is a bit unique. I actually had a client who's been interested in this uh, revolver since around the holidays, but between me getting sick and people being out of town and other people being sick, I haven't had much time to get people to come over and uh, take photographs for me. And uh, with revolvers, you really need to take it, uh, take it right, because they, if you don't have someone who takes a little time taking pictures, the glossy finish and whatnot will um, look like absolute shit. Well, last ye well yesterday, which is a Friday when I'm recording this, yesterday, the con guy contacted me and I said, yeah, I've still got it, I haven't sold it, I try not to do people that way. And I uh, said, well, good luck, uh, I'm, the guy who's taking pictures will be over tonight in a couple hours and I can have him snap, you know, a handful of photos. Well, we went to Lowe's and had an adventure. Long story short, no photos were taken. So, ironically, it is easier and seemingly more productive for me to do a video than it is to try to take photographs. I can't really do photos, the, the focusing and whatnot, they never... So yeah, I'm doing this video kind of for the client in lieu of getting him some pictures, but I figured why not, while we're at it, just, yeah, publish it. So in the box, it is foam, as you see. We have this weight that goes under the barrel. We have a cleaning rod, a jag, a brush, There's a small hole there, but I don't know that anything was meant to go in it for this one. In the other one I had, there was a piece there, but then there wasn't a jag. Not sure. And that's pretty much it besides the manual and such. The revolver itself. is just a fancy grade MR73 it has very finely adjustable rear target sights
it has a barrel it's a little bit under six inches I think it's like either five and five eighths or five and three quarters but over five and a half inches it is threaded on the under tapped and drilled and tapped and threaded on the underside to take that weight still has the stop in the cylinder or the safety I should say wood grips target grips with finger grooves these were single action only although I've read that you could convert them to double if you had the right parts that's just for being a target pistol they did them a single also like the standard MR73 it has a cold hammer forged cylinder cold hammer forged barrel has the trigger system on rollers that's also adjustable it is a sweet trigger and that you know from the factory I've to me it's better than a Colt Python or at the very least on par now of course the military guns the MR73 the police I should say really are in 357 and or 38 special some are both some are just 38 special by request of the department and that was original production and those could either be had with a high polished blued finish or they could have kind of a matte military style finish and they could either have wood grips I've seen a few different styles or they could have rubber grips and I've seen a couple of styles of those like a lot of revolver makers they had a lot of options in their catalog and since the MR73 had proven so successful it was designed to really be able to eat a constant diet of uh, 357 Magnum they branched out into the more of the match market in the 80s they started with the MR38 chambered not surprisingly for 38 special in 1981 and it looked just like this gun except in 38 and a year or two later they introduced the MR 32 not surprisingly chambered for 32 now a near end as a company disappeared in the 80s their 90s although there is a small private French company Chapouche something like that that is has been doing these since around 2000 in small batches it's worth pointing out that MAB also disappeared even earlier than Manurin the French firearms industry you know triggers ribbed Like I said, there's still the safety behind the uh, cylinder. It's kind of a neat revolver. It may have some handling wear, but it should be a new gun. Because this was imported last year, 2019, from a Swiss gun shop where it was at. And while so it would have been handled there, and it's been test fired at the factory, definitely. Other than where from just, you know, being in a shop and handled and you know how people are. And then being imported and all that. It should be about as new as you're going to find an MR32. I will never say spotless or 100% because it is not. Although the bore should be 100%. But I would definitely say it's a high grade. And it's definitely a very neat gun with a very nice trigger. It's weighty, but with 32, that means there is zilch on the recoil front. Yeah, I thought since I couldn't do pictures for the client, I would at least try to get some on video. He can pause it and look. He's a big-time revolver guy. Actually, have my uh, Colt 
1917 thanks to him but um, yeah I kind of feel bad that we weren't able to do pictures we had kind of a fun adventure at Lowe's <laughs> went to buy a floor lamp for my wife and wanted to get two for the living room only had one box plus the display model went up to the register and the woman scanned it and said oh you know there's there's six in stock so okay I went ahead and she charged me for two went back there to get it they only had the one talked to another guy he says oh this is this is the only one we have I was like, well the woman not only said you had six but charges for it and he's like well I don't know what happened but anyway so um, he offered us the floor model the regular lamp was 60 bucks he said he could do the floor model for uh, 30 half off and include a couple of light bulbs and stuff and then we found a few scratches on the floor model nothing nothing bad but I jokingly said it'd be even better if you could do 20 but I just said you know I know you do you know when you work for a store you do what you can do I said sure why not figuring well cost average between the two it's 45 bucks well I went over to the refund counter the customer service because obviously he had to refund my card 30 but 30 dollars for the first one and um he sat there and tinkered with it for a bit and said i need to go get my boss and he was already like a supervisor so he had to go even get someone higher up on the food chain and um they tinkered with it for a bit, and he goes, well, it's only letting me discount both equally. So, you got both for half off. Meaning, I essentially paid 60 bucks for two lamps. Even if one was the floor model. Meaning, I got it for free. So, we took it apart. Obviously, it didn't have a box. It's raining, it's cold, it's late. It took us a little longer there than we thought because of all the stuff. And, um... We get home, and then we realize that the little piece that holds the lampshade part on, the little plastic kind of washer, was missing. It, I think it rolled out of the cart, but either way, it's missing. So, Ian, bless him, went back to Lowe's. I didn't ask him to. He, he did. At 8 o'clock last night, came back with the washer that the guy gave him. They, they, could, they, looked, they went through the carts and everything. They could not... Uh, couldn't find it so he just gave him another one and he offered Ian two sizes a larger and a smaller Ian thought the larger looked better brought it over last night back and of course it was way too big the smaller one would have been the way to go so at that point I didn't mention pictures and he said he was done I didn't blame him so such as life goes but the happy ending is we had a cheap floor lamp from Walmart that cost like 10 bucks, and I went and looked, and it's a little plastic washer that holds its shade on. Well, it's a little bit different of a thread pitch. It's close enough for government work, as they say. So, I got my wife's lamps together. And now it's Saturday morning, and I am doing a couple of loads of laundry, and this video for my client. So... There you go, you get a MR32 and a story time about going to Lowe's on a dark, rainy, 37 degree night in Arkansas. <laughs> Alrighty guys, like I said, impromptu video. I don't want to turn this upside down, yeah that's what I figured, I don't know if there's anything on the bottom or top, no this should be the bottom I think. This stuff's starting to fall out, so yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. If you could, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you very soon next time.